Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic OBIEE 11G dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into my OBI environment. I need to log into Analytics. So you're going to have to get this information from your administrator, um, but basically the structure of this URL is the server name. Okay, so OBI2 on my machine also happens to be localhost followed by the port number, so colon port number, so I happen to be running on port 7001 slash analytics and then it's going to redirect you and add you know all of this extra stuff right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is log in. I'm going to log in as Paolo Rodney, so P. Rodney and then the password which on my system is admin123 with a capital A. Okay, so now you can see that what we're looking at right here is the sample app that actually comes with um, it, Oracle provides the sample application and I actually installed it as the administrator and so what we're looking at here is a dashboard page. Okay, now don't be fooled by this. I know this says that this is 11.1.1.5 samples application, but actually, if you want to truly find out what version you're running on, you can go up here to help and then go to about, and you can see that I'm running on 11.1.1.7. Okay, so let's first of all just reverse engineer this dashboard page. Okay, so here I have several columns one, two, three, four. And if we want to edit this dashboard page, we can click here and say Edit Dashboard. Okay, so one, two, three, four columns. And up here, this was another uh, column that uh, is, just shows a text area. And so if I want to make any modifications to any of these, like maybe I want to change the 11.1.1.5 to actually say 11.1.1.7, I can just edit this. Okay, so this is simply a text area and I click here and I'm going to modify this to say 11.1.1.7 let me click on preview and then hit OK. Okay, so now I'm going to save this and run it and now this looks a little bit better. Okay, so how do we create a new dashboard? Well, first of all I want to decide where I'm going to place my dashboard. Let me go in the catalog here and under shared folders, what I'm going to do is just create a folder under shared folders. And how about I just call this my dashboards? Okay, so here I'm creating a new folder. Or maybe be more descriptive, maybe call it Julie dashboards. So this will be available to other users by default and of course I can clamp down on security if I want to but since it's under shared folders it could, could be accessible to other people. Okay so Julie dashboards. Okay now that I have that folder there notice that it's empty right now. Okay so now I'm going to create a new dashboard. Click on here and I'm going to call this my first dashboard. I can put an optional description in there. Look where it's wanting to put it. So since I had Julie dashboards already highlighted, it's going to place it under Julie dashboards, but what it also does is it places, it creates a special system folder called dashboards. And that, that's important because what happens is as long as it's under that dashboards directory, it's going to magically appear here under dashboards. So notice here, Julie dashboards, here's my first dashboard, but I'm already here and at this point I can just drop content onto here. Okay, so if I want to maybe uh, put a column on here, I can do that. Maybe inside of my column I can put a text area. It automatically places it inside of a section. Uh, so with our section here, we can show the section title. So my section title is Section 1, but I can rename it if I want to. Okay, and as far as the text area goes, I'm just going to say 
here is where some sample text goes. Just some dummy content. If I want this to contain HTML markup, that's fine. Okay, so right in here, I can place that inside of bold tags and I can contain, contain whatever other HTML markup I want to. Here's a quick preview of what it will look like. And then hit OK. Now if I want to put more stuff down here, that's great. What if I want to put um, maybe an analysis? Here, quick demos. Let me drill down to this simple demo dashboard. Here's a product line analysis. I can just drag this right on here and it's automatically going to place it inside of a section and that section is going inside of the column right in here. So we have now a reference to our product line analysis. Let's save what we have so far and now run it. Oh, this looks really good. So you'll see that these are collapsible. These sections are collapsible. If I want them to not be collapsible, I simply edit this. I'll go into this section and uncheck where it says collapsible. Save it again and now run it. Okay, so we created our first dashboard. Let's look at our catalog now. And you can see that it's sitting under dashboards, it's sitting right in here. I hope you found this video tutorial very useful. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.